guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something a little bit more intriguing. I am really excited though, because if this works, I don't know, I think I'm going to be very happy. <laughs> so I'm going to be testing out powder before foundation as well as mixing powder with foundation. I've seen this going on in YouTube and I wanted to give it a chance. I actually remember watching Tati's um, full-on review on the Urban Decay Velvetizer product and I thought why not do it with a powder that I have already instead of going out and trying to get another product that may be sold out already. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm just gonna stop talking and let's get on with the video. So I am actually going to be applying powder before foundation on the right side of my face and I'm going to be mixing in powder with the foundation on my left side. So I'm going to start with the powder mixed in with the foundation. And for foundation I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the shade W3. The reason why I'm using this one, it's because I've tried it before, but because I am oily in my T-zone and very normal on the rest of my face, this foundation unfortunately did not work out for me. I was never able to basically mix in with my skin, it was just on top of my face. So it, it was always kind of like moving, it did not work. So, I want to try it, mix in with the powder and see if we can make it a little bit more matte and maybe actually be able to wear it. <laughs> so let's try that. Now I am going to use a little bit of primer because I normally wear primer whenever I'm doing my makeup. So I'm going to use the Benefit Professional. I'm just going to use a tiny amount. So a little bit right there, a little bit here and on my chin. I'm going to use two pumps and for the powder I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. How much should I use? I think I used too much but let's just start mixing. It is getting a little bit thicker which I think it's normal because we're mixing it with powder. So I just picked up a little bit of product on my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to go right in there. Let's start bouncing. Like I cannot really see the luminosity of the foundation. So I guess it did work on getting it a little bit more matte. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more product. see what happens if we build it up. It is getting harder to work with. It's like drying way too fast. Up close, it doesn't seem bad. It seems a little bit more powdery. It really reminds me of the finish of the Matte and Poreless from Maybelline, but it is clinging on dry patches. And right here, I didn't know I had a dry patch, but I do. So far, I'm not mad at how it looks but I'm not a fan. So now for powder before foundation, I am still gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I am picking quite a lot of powder with a Luxie 514 brush. So, I don't know, maybe I just go right in there. So I am dabbing it and now I'm just going to mix it right in there. I'm still going to use the same foundation because I really want to test it out with a very greasy foundation, basically. It feels kind of weird to do this, but like I said, I really have high hopes for this. Maybe way too high. So right now, I don't really see a difference between one or another. I feel like they have the very same finish, but the test continues. I want to see how it performs with other products, especially ones we go in with concealer and all that and baking. I want to see how this actually works out. So I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm using the NYX HD Studio Concealer in the shade CW04. I'm just going to blend that right in there. 
it blended nicely I didn't have any troubles with the concealer but I do have to say that it looks very cakey I am going to set that concealer with a Morphe E8 brush especially right there where I tend to crease and of course with the Laura Mercier translucent powder for highlight I'm using Champagne Pop from Becca with a Morphe M510 brush just going right there I actually forgot to contour my nose so I'm just using Sculpt with a Sephora crease brush it's just too cakey too powdery for blush I'm gonna use the Milani baked blush in the shade 02 blushing and for my lips I'm just using the Tardust lip paint in the lish I'm gonna try to go in with a NYX Dewy Finish setting spray and see if it makes the powdery look go away maybe it'll help now that I've used the setting spray I do feel like it helped a little bit to take away that powderiness that my face was doing but honestly it's not something that I feel like you can go out and have your makeup for the rest of the day I don't think it's something that it's gonna last you that long because I do see that it's starting to crack right on my small line right around my nose on the other areas of my face it doesn't seem bad but I'm gonna give it a shot I'm gonna wear it for about two or three hours um, do my day and I'll check in later with you guys and show you how it's looking so I'll see you in a bit so it's been three hours I had to change up my lips because that liquid lipstick was just sucking the life of my lips oh my god and I am so freaking ready <laughs> to take off my makeup you have no idea I've never felt the need to take off my makeup but today I'm feeling it <laughs> So I'm gonna be completely honest, it's not horrendous, but it's just not good. There's still some cracking right over my smile line, around my nose, a little bit on my chin, my under eye seems horrendous, it's very dry. It's just not a pretty look. I am really sad. I wanted it to work, I wanted it to be fantastic, I wanted to be able to wear that foundation. But in reality, that's not happening. I am accepting what is going on and I am trying to move on. I would not recommend any of you trying it. It's a waste, honestly, of product, of time. So thank you so much for watching guys, I hope that I gave you a little bit more insight about what's going on on YouTube right now. All of the products we used will be in the description box, follow me on Instagram so you can know what I'm up to, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!